alternative formats for this presentation can be found on the Financial Services website. Visit the Financial Services training page, email us at finance.training at queensu.ca, or give us a call at 613-533-2050. Harmonized Sales Tax, also known as HST. An overview of this module will include general information, HST on sales, HST on purchases. We will provide additional information and contact information. HST defined. HST, or Harmonized Sales Tax, is a tax you pay on most goods and services sold or provided in Canada. HST is comprised of two components, a federal component of 5% and a provincial component of 8%, provincial rate for Ontario. Provinces that have HST are called participating provinces and include New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland and Labrador, Ontario and Prince Edward Island. Provinces that do not have HST are called non-participating provinces and include all the remaining provinces and territories. Non-participating provinces charge GST, goods and services tax, and some non-participating provinces charge both GST and PST, provincial sales tax, or GST and QST, Quebec sales tax, in the case of Quebec. HST on sales. Topics in this section will cover HST on sales. For example, when do I charge HST? Internal versus external transactions, HST exemptions and rebates, and what happens to the taxes collected on sales? When do I charge HST? Queen's is registered for GST, HST purposes and is required to charge and collect HST on taxable supplies of goods and services made available or sold to external customers in Ontario and in Canada. Taxable supplies are goods and services that are made in the course of commercial activity and are not exempt. We will discuss exemptions and rebates further later in this training. As a general rule, most services supplied by Queen's are exempt, and most goods supplied by Queen's are taxable. Sales to other Queen's departments are internal transactions, and HST should not be charged. Sales to affiliated organizations are considered external transactions. These organizations have a connection with Queen's and typically use Queen's chart fields, specifically funds starting with 9. HST on sales, internal versus external transactions. Internal for Queen's University includes admin units, departments, faculties, schools, etc. External would include students, donors, granting agencies, affiliates, for example, AMS, sales of goods or services, and miscellaneous revenue. HST exemptions and rebates. There are transactions where HST is not applicable in part or in full due to exemptions and rebates, such as university general exemption, where there are specific rules, exempt supplies, zero rates supplies, direct cost exemption, sale of goods or services to provincial governments, point-of-sale rebates including the Ontario First Nations point-of-sale rebate and federal rebate on qualifying printed books. Most exemptions apply to services while most zero-rated and point-of-sale rebates apply to goods. Taxes collected on sales. HST collected from sales is not revenue for Queens. HST collected should be recorded to the appropriate tax account and the same fund and department as the revenue associated with the tax collected. The accounts used for GST HST on sales at Queen's are Account 210080 is the AP HST payable collected and Account 210024 is the AP GST account. Once a month, Queen's zeroes out these tax accounts and remits this tax to the Government Canada Revenue Agency. Now let's talk about HST on purchases. Topics in this section will cover HST on purchases, including when do I pay HST, PSB rebates and ITCs, normal university activities, commercial for profit activities, PSB rebate and ITC exemption, PSB rebate and ITC example, and self-assessment. HST on purchases, when do I pay HST? Almost everyone has to pay GST, HST on purchases of taxable supplies of goods and services, and Queen's is no exception. The HST will apply to goods and services provided to Queen's unless they are specifically exempted. 
the HST on purchases are paid to the supplier when the invoice is paid. The supplier then has to file an HST return and remit the taxes they collect from Queens to CRA. PSB Rebates and ITCs There are two major types of transactions from a tax standpoint at Queens, normal university activities and commercial for-profit activities. The type of transaction dictates whether Queens is eligible for a public service body, PSB, rebate, or an input tax credit, ITC. In order to ensure that PSB rebates and ITCs are calculated correctly, HST paid should be recorded to the appropriate HST rebate account in the same fund and department as the expense associated with the HST paid. For items being paid through accounts payable, the system, or PeopleSoft, will automatically calculate and record the PSB rebate or ITC amounts. Normal University Activities Queens is a public service body, PSB, and can claim PSB rebates for goods and services paid or payable in the course of carrying out activities in its capacity as a university. Universities receive a 67% rebate on the federal component of the HST. Universities receive a 78% rebate on the provincial component of the HST. Combined, rebate is approximately 73.77% of the HST on purchases in Ontario. When a department is eligible for PSB rebates, only the non-rebate portion of the HST is expensed to the department. The majority of the HST, that is, the rebate portion, is charged to the appropriate HST rebate account where it is then zeroed out when Queen's receives its rebate from CRA from filing its monthly HST return. For commercial for-profit activities, the PSB rebate does not apply on the department expenses. Instead, the department is eligible for an input tax credit, or an ITC, at 100% of the total HST paid. This means that none of the HST paid is expensed to the department. Rather, 100% of the total HST paid is charged to the appropriate HST rebate account, where it is then zeroed out when Queens receives its credit from CRA from filing its monthly HST return. PSB Rebate and ITC Exemption Qualifying Printed Books Queens will only have to pay the 5% federal component of the HST as the provincial component receives a point-of-sale rebate meaning the provincial component of the HST is not charged to Queens. The taxes paid on qualifying printed books are recovered through the federal book rebate when the HST return is filed, resulting in no cost to the department. This slide shows a PSB rebate and ITC example. Column 1 shows a department with PSB rebate, where the purchase amount before taxes is $100. The federal component, 5% HST, is $5. The provincial component, at 8%, is $8, for a total tax amount of $13. Total amount after taxes is $113. In this case, the PSB rebate is broken down into two components, the federal PSB rebate at 67%, or $3.35 credit, the provincial PSB rebate at 78%, $6.24 credit for a total PSB rebate of $9.59 credit. Total cost of the department in this case is $103.41. Column 2 shows a department with ITC, commercial operations, where the purchase amount before taxes is $100. The HST is broken into two components, the federal component at 5%, $5, and the provincial component at 8%, $8. Total tax amount is $13. Total amount after taxes is $113. ITC at 100% in this case is a $13 credit. Total ITC to be recovered from CRA is the entire $13 credit. Cost of the department is $100. Self-assessment. For purchases by Queens, the place of supply will most often be Ontario. It is up to your supplier to charge the correct tax, so you should not have to worry about self-assessing the HST unless the supplier is unregistered to charge GST HST. Unregistered suppliers generally include small Canadian suppliers and most foreign suppliers. If you notice that the tax being charged is incorrect, you should request clarification from the supplier. To self-assess means to calculate and record the HST that should be paid on purchases of goods or services when the applicable tax has not been billed on an invoice by the supplier. 
it is the responsibility of the individual initiating the purchase to indicate to accounts payable on the check requisition that hst needs to be self-assessed when goods and services are delivered to queens from outside canada queens is required to self-assess the provincial and or federal component of hst as necessary and remit the funds to cra when the monthly hst return is filed note the federal component of hst that is the five per cent is paid to customs on any goods being imported into canada therefore usually only the provincial component will need to be assessed on goods imported into canada the self-assessed portion of the tax is charged to the department and is eligible for psb rebates or itcs in the same manner as if the tax had been included on the invoice in the first place exceptions to self-assessing the hst include tax exempt zero rated goods or goods eligible for point of sales rebates goods and services not consumed in a participating province goods for commercial resale and qualifying printed books additional information can be found on the financial services website under hst and include hst guidance a decision tree showing hst on external sales a decision tree showing self-assessment a quick reference guide showing hst by sales type and a provincial tax rates table remember this presentation is an overview of hst and will not cover everything if you need guidance on specific situations, please contact finance at queensu.ca or hst.help at queensu.ca. How may we help you today? Give us a call at 613-533-2050. Email us at finance at queensu.ca or hst.help at queensu.ca. Be sure to visit the Financial Services website. We are located at 207 Stewart Street, 3rd Floor, Rideau Building hours of operation are monday through friday we are open from 8 a.m to 4 p.m to learn more or to review additional training resources and video tutorials visit the financial services training page